the image of point A minus one and zero under a counterclockwise rotation of 90 degree with O as the center of rotation. Now let's locate point A in the coordinates bin. So now point A is minus one, X is minus one, and Y coordinates is zero, so the point would be in this location. Now here I want to make a rotation counterclockwise to get the image. Counterclockwise it will be in this direction with positive sign to the degree. <coughs> and counterclockwise it will be in this direction with negative sign for the degree. So now here I want to rotate counterclockwise 90 degree. Okay, this one is 90 degree. So when I rotate counterclockwise in this direction, counterclockwise, so the point will be in this location. So this location with a dash, it will be 0 and minus 1. So now let's see the answers here. a dash is 1 and 0. 1 and 0, that means it will be in this side. No, this is not the right answer. A dash will be 0 and minus 1. This is the right answer. A dash 0 and 1. 0 and 1. It will be this side. No, this is not the right answer. A dash is minus 1 and 0. So minus 1 and 0. It's not the right answer. And this is not the right answer. Refer to the figure below. What is the image of point M? This is the point M. Under a rotation of 30 degree counterclockwise. So, counterclockwise, we will rotate in this direction. This is counterclockwise. And clockwise will be in this direction. So now here, 30 degree counterclockwise. So means we'll go in this direction. So here, 10, 20, 30 degree. So the new point, it will be K. So the image K is the image of point M under rotation of 30 degree counterclockwise. B, Q, R, S, T, U is a regular hexagon with a center O. What is the image of U? This is the U point. If the hexagon is rotated about its center 120 degree counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, that means we rotate in this direction. Now, between each point, as you see, this hexagon, between each point and another, the angle between them is 60 degree. So if you are going to rotate 120 counterclockwise, so it will be first 60 degree till T, and the other 60 degree is S. So U will move counterclockwise 120 degree rotated on the center, so it will reach point S. So the answer here is point S. Refer to the figure below to answer the question. Fill in the blanks. The coordinates of point R. This is point R, which is point R is minus 3 and 0. This is the coordinates of R. Under a rotation of minus 90 degree. Minus 90 degree, that means it's a clockwise. Clockwise, it will be minus sign. Anticlockwise is positive sign for the degree. Now here, minus 90 degree, that means we will move in this direction. This is the clockwise. A 90 degree, that means we will move point R 90 degree to this location. So here, the unit here, 
the distance between the origin zero to R is three units. So when I'm doing the rotation, I will keep the same distance from origin from zero. So here it will be three also. So the new point of A, it will be zero and three. So the answer here, it will be zero and three. Refer to the figure below to answer the question. Fill in the blank, a rotation of minus 90 degree, minus 90 degree, then I will do a rotation clockwise about the origin since D, point D, to, so clockwise, minus, that means clockwise, so I'll move in this direction, 90 degree, that means this is the 90 degree, so I'm moving this direction, so it will be point C. Here the distance between the origin and D is three units. So after doing the rotation, the new point has to be far from the origin also, three units. So this is C. For example, D here, the coordinates of D is zero minus three, and the coordinates of C, it's minus three and zero. So the units has to be far, the points has to be far from the origin, the same distance. So the new point is C. Now refer to the diagram below, rectangle OSTV. OSTV was rotated onto rectangle WQTR. Choose the correct option from the drop-down Let's to complete the statement. The center of this rotation could be the point. So now we have this rectangle, and I want to make it in this rectangle. So I'm moving, I'm rotating this rectangle counterclockwise, and it is 90 degree. So here I have, for example, this point. O will be W and V will be R and S will be Q. So the center of rotation is T. So here the answer is T. Consider the figure below. Which of the following is its image under rotation? That is a half turn clockwise. Now, full turn is 360 degree. Half turn, it will be 100 degree. So here, that is 180 degree clockwise around point O. So clockwise, so I'll go in this direction. So 100 degree, so here I'm moving 90, 180. So, if you take this line, if you are going to rotate 180, 90 degree, the line will be here. Another 90 degree, the line will be here. And the same for this point. If I'm going to do it 90 degree, it will be this point, and 90 degree at this point. So, the answer, that triangle will be in this location. PQRSTUVW is regular octagon with center O and the angle between each point and another is 45 degree so for example I have this also 45 degree now what is the image of S this is the image of S this is the point S if the octagon is rotated about its center 135 clockwise clockwise in this direction and it's negative degree. So now I have the point S here. And to move from point to point, the rotation was coming with 45 degree. So now let's say I have the S and I want to move to T clockwise. So this is V0400. 45 degree from T to U, 45 degree. So this, the total here is 90. Another 45 degree, which is 
135, so I'm reaching point V. So the answer here is V. So S will be rotated 135 degree clockwise to reach point V. So the image of S is V. Refer to the figure to answer the question. Fill in the blanks. A rotation of 90 degree about the origin. Since A, near 90 degree. Here, he didn't mention if it's clockwise or, or counterclockwise. Clockwise, that means the degree will be negative. And counterclockwise or anticlockwise, anticlockwise is positive degree. So here it's mentioned 90 degree, so it is positive 90. So it will be counterclockwise. So here, where is point A? This is the point A. So a rotation of 90 degree, this is 90 degree, about the origin since A to point B. So the answer here is 